Jackie, you're in there. We've got a new kid starting tonight. Show him around and I'll make him feel at home. Come on, little monkey. Faith? Yes, I am. And you are? I am your fairy godmother. You can call me Jackie. How old are you? 74. Shouldn't you be in an old people's home or something? Listen, I don't piss in my pants yet, you know. Hi, I'm Corinna from the fan carpet and we're here at Leicester Square in Cineworld for the premiere of Tucked, a quirky little indie film that has a very heartwarming tale of two drag queens that are very, very different and also with a big age gap who strike an unlikely friendship. It is a tale that will touch the hearts of many and hopefully push the boundaries down. So, tell us a little bit about the character you're playing in this film. Where do you come into I mean, it's kind of one of those things that I can't really say a great deal because I, I guess it's like the emotional belly of the movie. The fact that uh, I play Jackie's daughter who has, he has been estranged from for about 10 years. So I think I think that the audience essentially are waiting for this reconciliation, um, which may or may not come. And how does she feel about her father going out, you know, pretending to be a woman, essentially? I think it's not about that so much. It's about him showing up for her as a parent. And so it's more about him being, I guess, shunned by society, shunned by his wife, and uh, his own insecurity about how people will take him and his selfishness in that decision that takes him away from being a parent that she is upset about basically. His priorities have been sort of mixed up along the years so for you do you think this is an important film to come out right now in 2019 when people are talking about these sort of subjects? I think it's so timely I think you know uh, we've been on the festival circuit for a long time and we've had the question many times of oh this is so lucky you're so lucky that the film's coming out now um, and actually I think the conversation has been happening for a while Jamie wouldn't have had this idea had there not been these sorts of conversations bubbling under um, for the whole you know for the whole process in the lead up to making the movie so um, so yes I'm, I'm pleased that it's coming out now but I just I think you know it's part of the conversation I don't think it's going to be you know groundbreaking but yeah there are people who are being represented hopefully that you know the audience will feel seen represented to a high level and 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 we can join that conversation and that's what I'd be happy with. Thank you so much for chatting to us. I've been asked to wrap this up with you now. I could keep on chatting but thank you so much for chatting. So thank you so much for talking to us. You're the first, well, we're the first people you're speaking to this evening. Absolutely. I'm so thankful that you want to speak to me. I, I thank you for it. So this is, um, I've heard this is a, a film that is apparently going to be one of your last films you're going to be doing. Is this, is this true? Well, well, I don't know because people now, because of the response we've had in Los Angeles and all around the world, people are asking me to do things again. That's always the way. You say you're kind of going to retire and then people say, no, but come on, do some more for us. I've never retired because I run a, we run a pretty big company, you know, a, a drama exam board, New Era, and so I've always been doing something. So tell us a bit about the character you're playing. We know you for doing quite masculine roles. So this is something very, very different. How did you come to take part in this? Well, you know, you can never be somebody else. You are what you are. And so what you see on the screen is Darren as a drag queen and Darren as a crossdresser. You see him. I mean, this is what you are. This is... Um, this is it, you know, th this is you, this is how you behave. And uh, I was brought up with cabarets and my family were very famous in music hall. So uh, I've always, they always thought I was going to be a comic. So it doesn't come any, you know, it was fine, it was great fun. So tell us a bit about the character and his journey. Years ago I did a film called Victim, which was about homosexuality, which in those days you could go to prison for, and he did an awful lot to change the law. And I'm hoping that maybe people who see this film see him as a human being, and the tragedy of someone who cannot alter what he believes is his normality, and how, and how, it, you know, how it is tragedy on his life. And it's not funny, it's not, maybe people understand and not make labels. I don't like labels. 
They're two human beings who meet and interrelate and they need each other. I think it's a beautiful premise to a story, especially because there's an age gap between them. They come from completely different backgrounds. It's a very topical thing right now. People are highlighting the need to be a bit more inclusive. And do you think this is going to be a film that maybe has a bit of a, a cult status eventually? I, I actually believe it will. I mean, I did a film called Where Eagles Dare, which is a war film, which has become a classic. And I think this one, too, will become, in its way, a classic, you know, which explains how people you know are human beings and they are met and they interact with each other as humans although they have strange habits and that's what was a good motto for life for anything really d d despite you know not I mean out of the context of this film it's something that everyone should aspire to be just inclusive and, and loving so thank you very much for speaking to us this be yourself nice speaking with you you too thank you very much I hope you enjoy the movie I, I can't wait to watch it I hope we do get to see it I hope we get to see it this evening <laughs> Thank so. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're loving the hat. Oh, oh. Thank you. oh we'd like compliment. Double compliment. compliment. Yeah. yeah. I'm liking the pink as well. It's very, very appropriate. I realise I have my shirt tucked in for the pictures, and I, I really regret that. Why? I don't know. I just wasn't into it. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm over it now. So we know you from the Rizzle Kicks, yeah. and it's quite like you know, quite, quite like a laddie kind of group. I think people might you know see you guys as. Yeah. So do you think people are going to be surprised seeing you in a completely different? If people haven't seen me do anything since 2012, I'm confident that they will be surprised by this. Yeah. So how did you get involved? How did they? How did you? You know, manage to get yourself into this film? How? How were you approached? How did I get into the role? Well, I uh, was actually drafted in quite last minute. Um, about five days before. Uh, I know. Um, but I think it was a strike of luck because it, the roles give me an opportunity to like you know truly express aspects of myself that were always there and Jamie is so dope and like you say the, the script is so charming yeah man it worked out in my favour that's how I got involved but at the time as well I was talking to all my friends about sexuality and gender and that and they just popped up do you believe in synchronicity? Synchronicity, yes, I totally believe law of attraction, all that stuff, and these things happening. So it's almost like you, you kind of put it out there to the universe, and the universe answered your call, right? Maybe. Yeah, well, I'm going to go with that. So tell us a bit about the character you play. So he strikes up this unlikely friendship. Yeah, Faith. Uh, Faith is a gender fluid drag performer. Um, and what I love about the role is that. Faith gave me an opportunity to access this kind of resilience, this hardened center, which I see with a lot of my queer friends and in the community because of the reality of, of kind of being outcast just by your very identity. It's, it's almost like a survive, you have to survive, so you have to, you build this kind of like very resilient inner, even if it's not necessarily reflective of how difficult it is. It's this, it's this strength, man, you know, and because and, it is tough, you, you know, you, you're gazed at, you're, you're objectified um, in a sense. So anyway, accessing that in myself whilst being able to express my femininity through movement and through clothing, you know. Um, it's quite that, liberating. It was liberating, yeah. And like, I think it was, uh, I wanted to understand that experience and I hope that I, I did a good job and I feel closer to people who I already felt really close to so that's going to be a positive thing we could keep chatting to you all evening I hope that by me exploring this role there's people out there who feel seen or feel more confident to be who they really are I guess it takes someone like yourself who you know maybe they've got a certain perception of what you're like to actually tear those barriers down yeah I actually yeah that's, I mean it's a whole other conversation but it'd be interesting to the minds who find my transformation confronting that that's good but as long as it's then dealt with positively thank you so much for chatting to us this evening hey, i wrote and directed it so wrote and directed it if i was in the movie it would be a very different movie and people would not want to watch it if i was in it but uh i wrote it i, I directed it it's a it's a story about friendship uh love gender just it, it's it's a heartfelt comedy drama basically it's a very topical subject at the moment where everyone's talking a little bit about labels and how to you know include everybody and not have these prejudices yeah. so how did you come up with a tale what, what inspired you uh, so I'm a Brighton boy
boy born and raised and it was kind of uh, I'd seen characters like Jackie like Faith growing up uh, and I kind of felt that I had never seen their story in a film before that unlikely friendship of a 74 year old and a 21 year old it shouldn't necessarily work but they're both doing the same thing of being drag queens and, and trying to entertain and I just thought is there a movie in there where we just tell the story about those two people coming together at these times in their lives where they just need each other uh, you know so I wanted to do a movie like that it took a long time to get going it was like five years to make the movie um, but we're finally here now and we're in Leicester Square premiering it so it's surreal it's very surreal it's very exciting in, in some ways I mean you just said it took five years to make but it seems like right now in 2019 these topics are more relevant than ever before actually so do you think the timing has actually worked out in your favour? 100% I think um, I think with any sort of indie film you need a bit of luck on your side I think if I had made this movie five or six years ago people might not have watched it um, you know we're in a time now where people are actually talking about gender and toxic masculinity and what it what it means to be a man and all of this stuff nowadays and it's if, if this movie I was very clear I didn't want to make a movie that answered those questions because I don't think it's as simple as that it's not as black and white but to just start those conversations you know so people w watch this movie and can leave talking about it because I think that's the biggest thing is people just don't necessarily understand where we are now and there's there's a lot of characters in the movie who are they portray a very black and white um, reaction towards oh well you know you wear a dress so you must be gay or what and it's it isn't that simple anymore so hopefully this mu this movie just gets people talking about it a little bit. what I'm seeing so far from the trailer and having hearing um, everyone talk about is a real humanity in the film a real sort of touching thing about actually real humans in the day right um, this is Jordan he loves me yeah totally I, I think it's, it's it, movies like this don't normally get made certainly out of the UK and they certainly don't get theatrical so I think this was a film that we didn't try I tried to avoid a lot of cliches where I could it's about human beings this is a movie just about human beings and it's about friendship and love and family uh, and it's touching all of those subject matters but in a way where we maybe haven't seen it in other movies before so I think because it's truthful and it's honest that sort of gives it that extra charm which I think is missing from a lot of movies nowadays but. absolutely I think it's a time where everyone needs a bit of a cuddle <laughs> That's a great, that should be the tagline. Yeah, it's great. No, I, I love a cuddle, and I think uh, I think it's really important. But you know, film have a as a filmmaker, you have a responsibility. People can go into a film and lose themselves in a world of, I don't know, Keanu Reeves or Tom Cruise or whatever it might be. You can be the president or whatever, but they have a responsibility. And I think you can go in there, and if, you, if people, you can entertain people, you can make people feel something, and they leave wanting to talk about it, then you've achieved what we want to achieve. So. Absolutely. Thank you so much for chatting to us. I can't wait to watch it. We've had a wonderful evening here chatting to the cast of Tucked, so make sure that you head to your local cinema and support this very heartwarming indie tale. I've been Corinna from the Fan Carpet, and remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.